trying to be at the moment, let's mm. face it, is having a bit of a Charlie Sheen moment without the coke. Yeah. Right? And without yeah. the AIDS. We allegedly well, know yeah, AIDS. Who, yeah. who knows yeah. about Charlie these yeah. days? Well, who knows about Barnaby? Um, now, last week it got really weird. It what got happened? Weird. Actually, look, quite a few people are really worried about Barnaby at the moment mm, and yeah. really worried about Vicky. Everyone who knows Vicky really likes her. Yep. I've only had half a dozen interactions with her. Yep. That's his partner that he's left his wife uh, yes. for. Everyone says she's lovely, she's sweet, she's vivacious, she's fun. And it's all a bit sad at the moment. But Barnaby last week did the weirdest thing imaginable. What? So after having stepped down, having the media off him, it was almost like this kind of crazy psychotic break where he turns around and starts questioning the paternity of the kid. Yes, oh, yeah, that's so right. He was wondering, is he in the, is because he said he was overseas with his wife when the baby was conceived. Now, I'm sorry, but who shames their own partner like that? That's just, what we were thinking. And look, but the thing about it is, and this is what everyone in Canberra is talking about, is, is Barnaby actually okay? Because mm. that is weird behaviour. It's not, mm. you know, a lot of people who don't like Barnaby will turn around and say, oh, you know, it's because he's or whatever, whatever the reason. Yeah. That, I don't think that's quite fair. I think you have a bloke here who is just breaking down the way Charlie Sheen did yeah. in front of the cameras and in front of the public spotlight. And we're not we're not realising that it's worse than it seems. I think the best thing Barnaby can do, and I'm telling this as someone who quit politics, yeah. right? you got to get out. you got to get out and put your family first at some point.